crazy mother. G'day and welcome to the disaster zone. I need to clean this place up, but I've been distracted. I think it's time to mock this thing up. What do you reckon? So the big reality is I'm a bit of a whirlwind when it comes to working and some people are anal when it comes to cleaning up after themselves. I'm the opposite. I just need to get the job done and uh, worry about that later, but the time has come to clean up. Now, this thing here has been sitting inside, taking up a lot of space and it's starting to become a place to store stuff. And in reality, I've got lots of places to store stuff, appropriate places, so I want to clean up. Now, to make the most out of my space, which I don't have a lot, is to consolidate a lot of stuff on their own vehicles. So I've decided just to mock this together, and uh, anything that's mocked together is always inspiration. So it's going to be inspiration to finish it off. Not that I don't have enough projects to do at the moment anyway, but I want to stick the cowl on, the doors on, the roof panels on, the only problem I have is this is chopped four inches because it came off the mongrel. This car is going to be unchopped. So we're going to unchop it and just tack in the pieces that I cut out all them years ago. Lift the roof up and then everything will line up. And then we can just sort of zip tight together and it'll look cool. Let's do it. So the good old mongrel. Hey Karen, show them the mongrel like I've said a few times, has basically made me three cars out of the one. How have I done that? This is the original mongrel. That's the back of it. The 30, so that's a 28 coupe back. I had 30 doors, 30 cowl, a banger engine. Obviously the 30 doors and a 30 cowl have gone, the 30 grill's gone, the banger engine's gone. The banger engine and gearbox that was in the mongrel, which I call the global warmer, is now in Doris. Show us Doris. The 30 doors, the 30 cow, and the 30 grill, and now in the drag car. Karen, do your thing. And then finally the third car, the original mongrel, which isn't the mongrel anymore. I don't know, we might call it something to do with the mongrel. Who knows? Completely new car. I've got 28 doors, 28 cow. That's just a dodgy grill I've got at the moment, it's a 28 grill. Um, but we'll chuck it together, give me three cars. Good on you, the mongrel. You're a good thing. Righto, we've cleaned you up in there. Now let's lop off this roof real quick. <laughs> Bam! So the next job is we'll stick the cowl and doors on and my roof pillars, we'll put them in place, roof panels. Um, so we've got something to reference this off. So the cowl's on and somewhat bolted down. Um, I do need to dress up these hinges before I can do anything. Whoever took these off whenever it was really made a mess. Um, should be able to save that one. I'm not sure about that one, might be able to save it. That one's completely lobbed off. Should be able to find another one of those. And on the other side, these ones are all pretty much intact. Just got to try and get them pins out. This one's a bit messy, but sa well savable. So is the bottom one. So that's the next job, and then we can hang some doors. Managed to get that one off. The only way that pins come out is with heat. Likewise with that one, and on the other side. Straight out. Easy peasy. Yeah, nah, that one's not coming out. 
Not going anywhere. Not without a fight though. You don't mess with Paulie G. That's all I've got to say about that. Bam! Probs hard to see, but that looks really cool. Inspired. That's the idea. Doors are on. Well, there's all the bits I cut out of it ages ago in the chop. And if you go through my videos really early in the piece, you'll see the chop video. Um, it's done in time lapse, but it was a while ago. But I kept all the bits for this day. Some of this stuff's for doors, I don't have to worry about. But I work out what I need. And all I'm going to do at the moment is just tack it all in place because there's. 92 years of misalignment and wear and tear on all these parts that weren't made for each other well, They were but they weren't not from the same car um, So I'm hesitant to lock anything in place too hard, but we'll tack it in stick the roof back on it and it'll uh, maximize some space in my shed I've uh, located the bits and where they belong time to clean them up tack them on and uh, Go to the next stage Righto, let's weld this bad boy up. Hit the music, Karen. Nothing makes me more happier than having a coop back in the fleet. Man, I love it. Very cool. Little bit of air conditioning in the back there. Don't worry about that right now. Like I said at the start, this is just to mock it together to get me inspired. Not that I need much inspiration right now because I've got that many other projects on the go. But yeah, really happy. If it wasn't raining, I'd drag it outside. Probably guess. I've had no luck cleaning up the shed. It's actually messier now because everything got moved out of the way. But I guess that's how I like it. So what are the real plans for this thing? I still haven't decided. I know what colour I'm painting it. That's locked in. I'm just not sure what I'm doing in the front here as far as engine goes. I've got three options. Obviously that's one of them. Actually I've got four options, but... Let's say I've got three options. Um, but the best part about that is that I don't have to rush whatsoever. The great unchop of 2020. So anyway, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to have myself a cold drink and then probably start actually cleaning up some mess. But if you want to check out the chop, build, uh, the chop video, I'll put a link at the end. Um, you can check that out. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned, be good to your mates, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers to you, old son. You've been a good thing.